So Article 11 of the Code of Ethics addresses the obligation of real estate professionals to present a true picture in their advertising and marketing. This article underscores the importance of accuracy and honesty in representing real estate properties. So let's explore Article 11. Article 11, duties to the public. Realtors shall not knowingly present false information in regard to real property, its value, or its availability of the same, and shall not in any way engage in any practice or take any action having the effect of discriminating against any person. So, Article 11 and its standards of practice emphasize the ethical obligation of realtors to provide accurate and truthful information in all aspects of the real estate activities. This includes interaction with the public, other real estate professionals, and the representation of parties. Upholding these standards contributes to the integrity of the real estate profession and fosters trust among the clients and the public in general. Article 11 case study. Here's the scenario. Alice, a licensed realtor, but specializes in commercial real estate, is representing a first time home buyer her friend Sarah. Sarah is excited about purchasing her first home, but is unfamiliar with the complexities of the real estate process. Therefore, Alice must recognize the importance of adhering to the standards of practice and competence expected in a residential real estate brokerage. Here's the issue. The issue in this scenario involves the obligation outlined in the Realtor Code of Ethics that states services provided by realtors must conform to the standards of practice and competence expected in specific real estate disciplines. Alice must ensure that her services meet the standards associated with residential real estate brokerage and provide the necessary guidance to a first time home buyer. In the context of residential real estate, the standard of practice and competence may include thorough market knowledge, effective communication with clients, expertise in guiding buyers through the purchase of new homes. Alice must ensure that she demonstrates a high level of competence in these areas to meet a reasonable expectation of her client, Sarah. So here's how she would handle it. Conduct a comprehensive needs analysis with Sarah to understand her budget, her priorities, her preferences. Number two is provide a detailed information about the local real estate market, the local market trends, and any other factors that may impact the home buying process. Clearly explain each step to the home buyer. Uh, from the hunting of the home to all the way to the closing to ensure Sarah is well informed and comfortable with the residential process. Demonstrate effective communication skills, promptly addressing any questions or concerns Sarah's going to have. And she must keep abreast of the legal and regulatory changes in the residential real estate field to ensure compliance. So by aligning her services with the standards of practice and competence expected in residential real estate, Alice not only fulfills her ob uh, ethical obligation, but also enhances the overall experience for the client. This commitment contributes to a positive reputation for both Alice and the real estate industry as a whole. 